What is some of the strangest fan interactions mm. that you've had? <laughs> Why does this one always come up with every person? Well, it's because I, I'm asking that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Shout, yeah. I'll let Ian go because we, we already answered this. Yeah. Um, I mean, the weird one that we always say was a time when, um, back when Anthony and I lived at the same house, uh, the address got leaked and people started showing up at our house, like on a almost daily basis. And, uh, somebody, somebody decided like in the middle of the night that they were going to go into the side of the house, like through, through a fence. Uh huh. And, uh, they took a picture of Anthony through the window. Yeah, that is so weird. Yeah. Not actually, cool. I actually yeah. have a similar one to that. Actually, I didn't tell it. I don't know why I didn't tell this story. But <laughs> um, similar, same thing. Somebody, I mean, people found out where I lived, my other place. Um, and uh, I had cameras, though. And I just so happened to have my TV on that has a different cameras. And I just see these kids, like, just by my, you know, not, not doing anything in my front, like, kind of garage area my on my driveway. So they're not really, like, trespassing. But then I just keep watching them, and then you just see them talking, and you see this one kid go over, and he runs up the stairs, looks in the window, and he starts filming inside, <sighs> and then, yeah, and then basically it's just like that's one of the main reasons why I moved here, um, because I was just like that was happening a lot at the other house. Once they find out where you live, it's um, it's very uncomfortable. I always kept my uh, windows closed, and you know it makes you feel weird, man. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't suggest everybody goes and go and do this but i mean i i bought a gun yeah like i it's, Ooh, you're it's gonna not, get so much hate <laughs> i know well it's look i i definitely don't recommend everybody go out and in buy, california buy a gun. yeah you can have, oh i guess you have to just get a whatchamacall right like you need some kind of license or something in california uh with a shotgun no oh really no yeah. way. literally i paid 300 bucks and i had it in like two weeks or something like that i think yeah. they do like a background check or something but they do you don't need a permit for a shotgun for right. a handgun, you have to take like a written test, a concealed then, weapon, yeah, and then no, not a not a concealed. For for a handgun, yeah, just for at least back when I was thinking about it, oh, uh, you had to take a test, like a written test, and then you had a permit that expired, like a couple years later. Right. Uh, welcome to gun talk, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, and it's and it's obviously I didn't I didn't have the intention of going and out there and shooting fans, but yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's it's not for even, its intended purpose. If yeah. someone comes and breaks into your house, like you have some way to protect yourself. If they have a gun too, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and like, and that was my the reason for the shotgun over something like a handgun was the sound alone should be enough to scare most people away. Unless you're like a crazy yeah. murderer, which is very rare. Yeah. Yep. If you're just somebody looking to break in and steal some equipment, like you're not going to take that risk. So if you just hear the, then you're, you're not going to stick around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't plan on shooting anybody. <laughs> I certainly don't want to shoot anybody. I don't fantasize about I, shooting yeah. anybody. Uh, I think, you know, gun violence is obviously a huge problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, and but you're, but a, I mean, you have a, you're a special case. I mean, like not to make you feel like, you know, but I mean, it's true. Like you, there's a very legitimate reason as to why you have that gun. Yeah. And it's not for fans that are, that are trying to take pictures through my window. It's, it's, it's the fact that, you know, our address is out there and only yep. takes one person to say, well, they're YouTubers. I bet they have some pretty expensive video and audio equipment or mm -hmm. one crazy person. That's all yeah. it takes. Yeah, I mean, I've never banked on the crazy person aspect of it, but it did I've happen. It did happen to Gavin and Meg Turner. I know, yeah. And that that was scary as hell because yeah. that's that's sort of the thing that every sort of YouTuber feared, and and you know, thank God they're okay. Yep. Like that one crazy. That's what I mean, though. There's so many yeah. people in the world, yeah. and because people know you, there's a higher probability of someone crazy coming and doing something like yeah. that. And I mean, obviously the 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 girls online have to worry about that a little bit more. Uh, yeah, um, for sure. But yeah, there was, there, was some, there was some YouTuber that was telling another person, so this is going to be a third-person story. Um, but they said that they had, um, they had this guy reach out, out, to, uh, out to her. It was a fan, and he's like, hey, um, I'm just making sure. You haven't been talking directly to me, have you? And she, she responded like, no. And he's like, okay, thank you. Because I have this mental condition where I, 
watch when I'm watching something, I think they're talking directly to me. Mm. What? Yeah. So so he had the wherewithal to realize that because of this, you know, mental illness that he could not be possibly thinking straight. Yeah. But it's those it's that possible that's a fortunate mental, scenario yeah. though, and very, easily went yeah, there's the other very way. few people who are self-aware of that yeah you know yeah and that's, then and then it's those kinds of people not that i'm trying to like say a certain type of like mental <laughs> illness is responsible right, for this yeah. or right. anything but the people that aren't right in the head that you know the guy that broke in there was obsessed with meg Right, like had thousands of notes on his phone about like his love for her and like how he was gonna kill Gavin or whatever. It was nuts. Yeah, um, and you know, obviously, it's not like something that YouTubers should be worried about every moment of the day. But yeah. but just you know, being aware of something like that. And yeah. See, the thing is, the way that I justify that, that you know, I know already people are gonna be like, oh, I can't believe Ian has a gun. What? And there's gonna be people. Regardless, sure. um, because we shot a video where we literally just went to the desert and shot guns. Yeah. That's the thing you do out here. I didn't think much of it. Um, and we got so much ridiculous hate for that. I'm sure. Um, but the thing is uh, about that whole situation and your situation and why I think it's fine is because if everybody didn't have guns, if there was no guns, yeah, of course. Well, you don't need a gun, even though it's our right. You know, if, But the fact that you don't, it's not put into place. You know, like that's... You need, I mean, I understand your concern for that. Pigo. <laughs>